Why it's very important to pray for your spouse. Wise one, I need your help. I want Jessica and her husband to separate and part ways. She has been averting my advances, but I must have her by force. Bring me anything that belongs to her. Whether it's a piece of clothing, her photo or an item that she owns, so that I can establish a point of contact with her. Okay, here is her photo. Drop her photo in the calabash, together with your money for I to start the ritual. That marriage will end soon. Her husband will run mad and Jessica will be yours. All she will think about from now on is you. Alright, understood. Remember that you will need to bring a sacrifice after every three months for you to sustain your relationship with her. Otherwise the madness will have inflicted on her husband will backfire on you. No problem. Oh. Hello my husband Sean. I didn't hear you come in. How was work today? Hello my dear wife Jessica. My day was amazing. I got promoted to head of the IT department. We shall move to a bigger house in no time. I'm so proud of you. Your hard work has paid off, and our prayers have been answered. When will you start working in your new position? As of next month. Although I'm happy for you, there is something that is heavy on my heart. I did get another unwelcomed visit from Raphael. He still insists that he is my true husband and that I should go ahead and divorce you. I hope we get to move out soon, so that I can never meet with him again. How can this man come into my home to harass my wife? This Raphael is truly something else. I will surely report this to the police. Oh, there is no need to report him. I have already warned him to never come here again. Don't worry my dear. I will work hard and we shall soon move into our new house. Listen carefully. I must have Jessica for myself, whether you like it or not. You are now under my control, and there is nothing you can do about it. I don't know why I don't feel as strong as before. What's happening to me? I cannot feel. Cannot feel, I cannot feel. Feel. Sean, Sean. Wake up. You are talking in your sleep. Are you all right? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Why are you acting this way? Please stop this right now. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know what's gotten into you, but you are acting as though you are insane. I will take you to hospital right away. Doctor, please tell me what's wrong with my husband. We have run all the necessary tests on him, and nothing seems amiss. Did he seem stressed when he came home from work? Not at all. In fact, he came home excited and slept like his normal self, but later on woke up startled and acting very strange. Medically speaking, there is nothing wrong with him. I have been a doctor for over 20 years, but this is one of the most peculiar cases I have dealt with to date. However, we shall keep him overnight to run more tests on him. Alright, thank you doctor. No problem. Don't worry, we shall get to the bottom of this. I'll leave you for now. You are now mine. How long did you think you would resist me? Your husband will no longer be a cause for concern. Now, we can go ahead and live happily ever after. I will never leave my husband. I took vows to stay with him, regardless of the situation we find ourselves in. <laughs> Come on Jessica. Your husband is ill, and he will never recover. What do you mean by that? Like I have said, you will wait forever. And forever. And forever. And forever. What kind of a dream was that? No, that was very weird. 
Maybe Sean's illness is not ordinary. I must cancel it in prayer, so that any evil programming does not come to pass. Our Father in Heaven, I come before you in absolute submission. Please deliver my husband from any wickedness that has been directed at him. It is written in Matthew chapter 19 verse 6, that what God has put together, let no man put asunder. According to Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against us shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against us in judgment shall be condemned. Therefore, every evil hand responsible for my husband's illness, loose your hold in Jesus' name. I cancel every curse, hex, incantations that have been pronounced over my husband in Jesus' name. I bind any power that has bound my husband's mind, and I command you to be powerless in Jesus' name. I nullify any evil words that have been spoken against our marriage in Jesus' name. I command any photos of my husband and myself that are in an evil shrine to catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Every evil arrows projected to break our marriage, backfire in Jesus' name. I decree that his mind has been restored fully in Jesus' name. I decree and declare that the works of our hands is blessed in Jesus' name. I declare absolute restoration of our marriage in Jesus' name. So shall it be, Amen. The calabash broke. It means the spell is broken. That young man is about to be struck with madness. It's not even raining. Why is there thunder? <laughs> I got your call, doctor. I've come as soon as possible. Your husband is much better. Whatever he was suffering from vanished after 10 days of being admitted. We are still baffled at his sudden recovery. With that said, you can go in and see him, as we process his discharge documents. Oh, I am very excited to take him back home. Well and sound. Thank you so much for all your help. You are most welcome. <laughs> 